Tuberculosis is a disease that we, has been with us since the ancient time. Uh, the bacteria, we call the mycobacterium tuberculosis. Once a patient infected, they may not feel anything or they may feel a little bit like uh, flu like illness. When a person infected with tuberculosis exhales or coughs, millions of bacteria escape into the air. If anyone else inhales this bacteria, it is likely that he or she will develop a TB infection. As a result, TB is especially prevalent in overcrowded areas. Tuberculosis can infect almost any organ in the body. If it does infect the lungs, it predominantly presents in the upper lobes where the oxygen concentration is greatest. The lung tissue reacts by becoming fibrous, and the majority of such TB patients present with hemoptysis, the coughing up of blood. How often do you see TB in this hospital that you work in? And I'm assuming it's not very much. And why, why is it not prevalent here and so prevalent in third world countries, like you said? Well, the ER is not too endemic in this area or prevalent in this area because the United States have uh, very strict measures to guard against TB. Uh, for example, is an immigrant coming from the third world country, they have to be tested with PPD and X-ray of the chest. And particularly, chest X-ray has to be normal before the patient, before the uh, traveler or immigrant can be admitted into the United States. So because of the uh, strict measures, the prevalence of uh, TB in the United States is much, much lower or could be considered as a kind of uh, almost cure. Maybe Manila, Hanoi or Vietnam, uh, India, all those uh, uh, impoverished countries, uh, they tend to have uh, more tuberculosis as yet. The revised National Tuberculosis Control Program, or RNTCP for short, is India's comprehensive strategy to control the TB epidemic. The strategy makes it the healthcare facility's responsibility to make sure the patient completes the treatment. If a patient is diagnosed with TB, a box is issued with a full course of drugs inside, a regimen that takes six to eight months to complete. So if a patient diagnosed as a tuberculosis patient, a separate box of medicine, a full course of six months, will be allotted to him. This is rifampicin. Uh -huh. These are two tablets of Isonex. Right? These are two tablets of Ethambitol. And these are two tablets of Pyrazinamide. Okay, and how often do they take per week? You said Monday. Uh, they take all these seven tablets on Monday, on Wednesdays and Fridays. They are taken in the morning before breakfast in presence of the dot worker. An RNTCP officer is assigned to each patient and he or she directly observes the patient swallowing the required drugs. This ensures that the treatment is being followed and the patient does not default. The RNTCP philosophy stresses that it is better to have a small group of monitored patients that are following the treatment properly that to have a large group of unmonitored patients that may or may not be taking the full course of drugs. Now the inquisitor will be transferring cases to periphery, taking out the peripheral referrals, outside referrals. Those who are the treatment organizer will be supervising the treatment here, administrating drugs, plus at the same time the patient doesn't come. Home visit. Second, the are they no? Next day. Absolutely. Same day. Two days. This is, it's not just not a social issue here, but 
taking treatment, imagine we taking a treatment for 10 days. How well are you going to take your antibody for 10 days? If you start feeling better, you will stop it after 5 days, isn't it? So imagine the treatment going on for 6 months. After one week they start feeling great. So why should they take after 6 months? So that is the entire issue that I should discuss with them. The primary diagnostic tool is a sputum examination which analyzes the patient's coughed up saliva, mucus, and phlegm from the respiratory tract. The presence of the acid fast bacilli of the mycobacterium tuberculosis confirms the TB diagnosis. Old chill. Old chill. So do you have like an example of positive and... Yeah, positive. Oh. Yeah, that's I'm mean, missed. These are the colonies of Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. It is rough buff colored colonies. Mm -hmm. The sputum goes through a Zeal Nielsen staining procedure and is analyzed by a laboratory technician. An x-ray can also be used as a secondary diagnostic tool. This is a mobile medical unit in which there is a facility for inbuilt x-ray machine and there is a facility for laboratory uh, also. There is a dark room also and we, the staff members, all the staff members go to the periphery in rural and tribal population of our state and surrounding state for screening of the tuberculosis and uh, associated disease and there we diagnose and we give the one month treatment free and then we hand over the patients, all the patients, to the local agency, either government or NGO. And at present, after RNTCP, uh, active case detection is not advocated, so we have stopped Stop. and limited. Right. And when we go, we don't say it is a TB camp, we say it is a chest camp. Chest camp. <laughs>